Well, hello there, friends. Delicious cornbread stuffing. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making stuffing together. Okay, friends, let's make that stuffing. I love Thanksgiving. I love stuffing. I love turkey. I love gravy. I just love the celebration of Thanksgiving. Anyway, friends, um, we're going to do it with a, a, a freshly ground turkey breast. You can do regular turkey. You can do sausage. You can do whatever you want. And then to make it e the, media, the video not so long, folks, because I have a tendency of making them too long, we're going to use two pans, okay? You can do all the, the, the meat in one and then take it out and do the vegetables uh, in the same pan. But to, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it in two pans, okay? So we're going to put onion in here first. Always first. Remember, folks, the onion. Always first ingredient in the pan, friends. I know I'm repeating... <laughs> But I gotta repeat it. I gotta repeat it. Yeah. Oh, all right, I'm gonna go. Oh, here it goes again. The onion first. All right, and then we're gonna take the sausage. We're gonna put it in here. The the, the turkey. It could be uh, uh, you know, I, I my traditional, the one that I've been making for 50 years. I use a spicy Italian sausage, and uh, it's delicious. But today, this year, we're changing it a little bit where we're going to use the, um, the ground turkey. And uh, we're going to use a bunch of fruits we're going to put in there. It's going to be delicious. It's very simple. And, and friends, by all means, when you're making your stuffing, try to make it a couple of days before Thanksgiving. The day of Thanksgiving, friends, the only thing you should really, really do is cook your turkey, yeah? Salt and pepper. Make it as spicy as you want. Or as dull as you want. It's really up to you. Put a little chili flakes in there. It'll be great. You can, you can spice it up. But you might as well get the sausage if you're going to do that. All right? So. Because it's exciting. To put a little spice in your... Um, in your... Uh, uh, in your... Uh, uh, stuffing, you know, make it a little spicy. You don't have to, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that, friends. You could also add bacon. <laughs> not today, but I did it last year, I think, or the year before. You're not bacon. Saute everything in bacon. So, friends, I'm going to saute it. It's called the brown. The onion are, um, are going to cook for a second to get a little more caramelization. And then we're going to put the vegetables. Carrots cut very thin. Very thin, very small dice. Celery, very small dice. Apple, very small dice. Let me tell you, I'm going to put them in the order that I want, so you'll see it. Okay? So, you see what I'm looking for right there? You see right there, that guy right there? Look. That one right there. You see? That's what I'm looking for, the Maya reaction. I'm looking for that. And I'm looking for it, and I'm not going to quit until I got it, which means I'm not going to put any other ingredient until I got more of that Maya reaction right there. You see? So the only way to do this is this. You know what I find a lot, my friends? Just the same principle when I make a bolognese, when I make a, a, a ragu. Anything I do that requires sautéing the meat, friends, it's very important. What a lot of restaurants do, they don't take the time to do it. A lot of, a lot of it, but I know there's a lot of good chefs out there that are watching. They're a friend of mine. I know they do it. They caramelize their meat because it's so important. And if you're, uh, if you did turkey breast, you're not gonna have much fat. So make sure you add some beautiful olive oil. Yeah, I added the garlic olive oil first. All right, onion is good. Now we're gonna put the vegetables, carrots. Very small dice, and for those of you that I wonder, how am I gonna cut a dice? Look at the video right there. It shows you exactly how to do it, friends. All right, how to cut the vegetables properly. Because I use it so often, right? Oh, I got right there um, a Granny Smith apple. Granny Smith apple. Because you see, I'm gonna put a lot of fruits in there. 
and they're going to be sweet. So I want to put a guani smith up for because the guani smith is not very sweet. It gives it a little acidity, yeah? So look, guys, I got some beautiful ham in here. I, I bought some um, um, uh, uh, a tavern ham at my grocery store, Publix. I put them in here. The tavern ham. All right, so now I'm going to put a little sage. Sage is the oil for the holidays, okay? You got to put sage. Sage is a beautiful herb, friends. I'm looking to make sure I don't forget anything we need to cook anymore. We're going to cook this, but we're going to put a cover on it, okay? Now this, I don't want to put a cover on this guy. That's why I kind of like to do them separate. Let me get my tongue. Because, friends, I um, that's the last thing I want to do with this is cover it. Because I want, I'm looking for that caramelization. So friends, we're going to continue cooking all this. Take your time. You may want to do this first. Take everything out of the pan and do your vegetables and take your time. Cooking, Thanksgiving, stuffing. Let me tell you, this is not like that, uh, that box stuffing you buy that, or whatever it's called. I forgot the name of it. Uh, Stove top topping, whatever it's called. And, and, and I, that's not what that is. <laughs> this is going to be like, oh, going to take your stuffing in a whole different direction, friends. I promise you, you make my stuffing one year, you'll never go back to the stuff, top, 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 topping. Well, I don't know what it's called. Stuff, top, top, topping. I don't know what it's called. But, uh, you know, uh -uh. I promise you, you try this, you never go back to the, to the box thing, okay? I promise you, friends. Okay, so we're going to cook this. We're going to get it all golden brown. We're going to cook those vegetables. Keep an eye on them, though. We're going to keep an eye on them. Oh, it's a good thing I ate my Wheaties today. And when the vegetables are soft, not too soft, I still want a little crunchy. When this is beautiful golden brown, we're going to put everything in a pot. Let me make sure I don't forget nothing. At the last minute, I'm going to put the garlic and the spinach. I got some chopped spinach in here and a little bit of garlic. And I'm going to put that at the last minute, and then we're going to mix everything. We're going to put it in a lasagna pan. I'm going to pop them in the oven. i see you in a couple of minutes when this is all done. Okay, friends? Okay, friends. Look, as you can see, we got some nice Maya reaction. And that's flavor, friends. Don't me educate yourself. Do it, I promise you. Little garlic in here. You can put a little garlic or a lot of garlic. It's really up to you. Okay? I put little. Uh, we're going to put the spinach in there, friends. And all of this spinach, I just took some uh, spinach leaves, I uh, chop them up. Nothing fancy, yeah? You know I don't do anything fancy, friends. Okay? I don't do anything fancy. I always do it simple but nice. Simple but nice. Hey, yeah, that should be a, a channel thing. Simple but nice. Elegant. Elegant. What, what do you think? We're going to call it the, ch <laughs> the channel that cooks simple but elegant. We like to be elegant here. <laughs> All right, friends. Forgive me if I'm excited, but uh, Thanksgiving always excites me. You know, when I had my restaurant in a uh, in, <laughs> long time ago, I, I opened it up 1976, July 1976, friends. 22 years later, I had a still, we had the same crew. Fabulous. What a phenomenal experience, eh? But... When I started, let me check this guy, the vegetables right there. When I started, friends, okay, I'm going to take all this and I'm going to put it in here, but I'll tell you in, in a second, or let's go to the pot. I'll tell you the story because I forget. Um, when I started in Fort Lauderdale, uh, 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 1976, every French restaurant, well, all the French restaurants in town, mamma me, it, was, it must have been 100 French restaurants in Fort Lauderdale. For those of you that live in Fort Lauderdale, you remember, right? They were in every street corner. La Ferme, the golden blue, and this one, and this one. Oh, le, la, lu, something, anyway. They were, <laughs> all those French restaurants. And there was nobody open for Thanksgiving. I'm like, Thanksgiving? Nobody's open? I'm going to do it. And, and the first Thanksgiving, there was not that many people, French people, doing Thanksgiving. What do they know about Thanksgiving? Well, <laughs> let me tell you, the reputation got quick. We were booked a year in advance. A year in advance, you had to make a reservation to come to my restaurant for Thanksgiving. We opened the door at 2 o'clock, 2.15, full. And at 11 o'clock, they were still waiting uh, for, for more table. It was amazing. It was amazing. I love Thanksgiving. Anyway, friends. So 
Uh, what I'm cooking is a variation of all I did for the last 50 years, you know, so many different things. Plus in the cooking school, mama mia. Anyway, let me stop talking. Um, I made some cornbread. This is just a loaf of cornbread, of, of, uh, of uh, cornbread, about a pound and a half, a pound and three quarter. And uh, you, you can use cornbread, you can use corn muffin, you could use uh, brioche bread, you can use whole wheat bread, you can use whatever bread you want. Use whatever you want. I like the cornbread, because I like the, the moisture of it, you know. I want to put some nuts, but you got to put a soft nuts. Don't put like a hard nut in it. This is a uh, walnut. Walnut is kind of a soft nut, you know. Uh, you know, the real traditional one is chestnuts, but I know nobody's got chestnuts out there, so I figure we use a walnut. A little bit, chop, chop walnut. And then I got some um, uh, cherries, dried cherries. It's a very fruity, it's a very fruity stuffing. You don't have them, skip them. You, know, you don't have to put them in there. Cranberry, dried cranberries. And then I got apricots. Apricot, dry apricot. Look at this, dry apricot. They're beautiful. Dry apricot. And then, um, as I was telling you, the um, uh, uh, Granny Smith apple. Here you go. I put a little lemon juice in them uh, because of uh, so that they don't turn a color. And then we're going to take our sausage, friends, and we're going to put it in here. Voila. See, look, look how beautiful that my reaction, friends. <laughs> and, then, and then we're going to, oh, mama mia, it's a good thing I ate my Wheaties. And then we're going to put all of our vegetables in there, friends. We'll put all our vegetables. You know, I always forget something. I hope this year I didn't forget anything. What do you think? I didn't forget anything. You watch. Somebody's going to say, you forgot this. And hey, let's put a little more salt and pepper in there, would you? Okay, so I don't forget that because I normally forget things. And they're going to say, well, what about butter? You can put butter in there, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put buttermilk. Buttermilk. Instead of butter. Buttermilk. Make sure measure you carefully. Can measure measure carefully. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a, 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 a thing, a thing, <laughs> a spatula, and this is right there, friends. By the way, the the, the turkey that was two pound of turkey, friends, two pound of uh, ground turkey, and then uh, it was about a pound and a half of the corn uh, cornbread, about a pound and a half. There was one loaf of, of cornbread. You can use if you're going to use muffin. Costco has great muffins. And I used to use like four or five of the big corn muffin at Costco. They were really, really nice, friends. I got salt and pepper, right? I got, uh, I think I got everything. I, <laughs> I think I got everything. Yeah, that's what I say all the time. And then, oh, you forgot this, you forgot this. I know, that's okay. Hey, you know, it's only cooking, friends. If I forget something, we're, we're still not going to get to the moon with it anyway. So <laughs> it doesn't matter, right? Uh, and nobody going to know. It's not like you guys going to say, you know what? I, I'm not sure I like your stuffing. I don't see any ham in there. Oh, by the way, you don't like ham? Don't put it in. Don't worry. That's the beauty about cooking, friends. You don't want an ingredient? Don't put it in. Don't go, oh, I'm not making this because it has ham in there. I can't have ham. Well, then don't put it in. It's still going to be good. All right. Let's talk a little bit about moisture, friends. I wanted to hold a little more together than, than this, you see? It's not holding too much, just a little bit more now, don't go crazy, just a little bit more. I want you to just, uh, it's up to you. Some people like a dry stuffing, you know? I don't like a dry stuffing. My stuffing gotta be nice and, um, and, and moist. I like it, look how beautiful that is. I promise you, friends, you eat this and, uh, and, 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 and you'll love it. Put a little spice in there, you know? Put a little hot chili peppers, you can put a little hot sauce in there. Here, nothing wrong with that, friends. No hot sauce. Where is it? Somewhere. Here we go. Come to Papa. A little bit of hot sauce here. You know, a little bit of heat. You have to be delicate. Remember, we are elegant on this channel. <laughs> I can see the chef are going to go, these guys are nuts. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we celebrate Thanksgiving, friends. And you know, in France, we don't do Thanksgiving. But uh, we do Christmas. <laughs> the rest of the world does Christmas too. And in France, we do sim something similar to this with a turkey. We serve with a turkey. Friends, the, um, I forgot to tell the camera, uh, uh, Jack, then uh, I'm coming in here to do, the, to do the dish. So he's got it. I'm going to put a little bit of butter here, friends. 
It's a little softened butter. <laughs> you didn't think I was going to put butter, right? Uh-huh. You know I don't let you down when it comes to butter, friends. Put no butter in there, okay? Don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. Well, you can never accuse me of being shy for butter. Butter, anything, everything is better with butter. Everything is better with butter. Oh, boy. That dish is going to get hot. You know what? I'm going to go back to my cutting board, folks. Because that, that, that burner is like, look, 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 look what happened to my butter. I didn't want it to do that. It got a little too hot. Because that dish is, uh, it became hot because I put it on a burner right there. So you don't want it to melt too much. That's why I wanted to do this, but uh, too late. <laughs> you know, I make mistakes so you don't make them. That, that's why I make a mistake. How do you like that one? That's a good excuse, right? Why do you make mistakes so I can teach my subscriber how to do it correctly? Okay, friends. Oh, one more important thing. We want to make sure the, the dish that we're using, the lasagna pan we're using, has two, two effects. One, it want to be pretty enough so you can put it on the table. I mean, it could be a lasagna, regular lasagna pan. It doesn't matter. But most important, when you finish, friends, that dish you're using, whatever it is, lasagna pan, pretty pan, whatever it is, it has to be full. Let me tell you how important that is, friends. It has to be, it is so important that that dish be full. Because if it's not full, friends, you know what's going to happen? It's going to dry. So if, if, if you do, if you take a dish and you fill it up, and it's always only halfway full, get a smaller dish. Because you want to fill it up all the way. It's very important, friends, I promise you. Pack it in, pack it in, pack it in. You see? Pack it in, my friends. You want to pack it in because, so it doesn't dry out on you. You see? Look at this, that look beautiful or what? That's a picture right there. Now that's a stuffing. My friends, remember, the last couple of years, we did some similar, very similar, because at the end of the day, I don't do too different of a stuffing. I mean, sometimes I do different stuffing, but I always go back to this, this technique with my vegetables and my bread and, and whatever it is that I use, right? And uh, you can check the other the videos. Um, Jack is going to put a link in there. Remember, if you want to see more video about Thanksgiving, underneath uh, each one of this video this year for Thanksgiving, we will put a link to all of the Thanksgiving video we have on our play playlist. All right, friends? So look, I got my oven going at about 350, 375. I'm going to bake this. And when it comes out of the oven, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. Be back in a few minutes. Okay, friends, about 45 minutes went by. Let's do it. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. Oh, baby. It is hot. Be careful. <laughs> You know, when I tell you to be careful, I actually am talking to myself. Be careful. You know what I like to do also to give it some life, friends? I like to give it a fresh little chop parsley on it when I do it. Because otherwise, it's just not, the color don't pop out. So, you know, chop, first, I love the flavor of chopped parsley. What are you going to do? I got my thing. <laughs> I got a lot of things. And one of the things I love, I love this. So, you know what my favorite part here, that friends, is, is the edge. That's my part. <laughs> so, when I serve it, I go right there on the corner. I'm going to go, okay, I'm just going to help myself. And you guys figure it out. <laughs> That's what I do. So, I go right there. And you see right there? Oh, yes. Check this out. <laughs> Look at this. Now, that, my friend, is a stuffing. Look at this. The smell of it. It's amazing. Uh, you know what I smell, which is really, really amazing, is the apple. And I only got one apple in there. Absolutely amazing. I can smell that apple. Look at this. So, you see, it may have looked very moist when I first put it in, right? It may have looked very moist, but you see, it's not too moist. It's actually perfect. Oh, oh, oh. mm-hmm. Mm, you see? Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. The fruits are nice and soft. This is amazing. Mmm. 
I'm telling you, how? Oh, quick turn on yourself. My friend, forgive me. My mom always, always said, don't speak with your mouth full. And here I am. Forgive me. Friends, you can make this in advance, but remember, only cook when you're ready to serve it. Now, it's boiling hot, and you're going to put a turkey and a hot gravy on it, so don't worry about it. If it's warm, it's still going to be delicious. Change, change it. Don't forget, you can make it with a spicy hot sausage. You can change anything you want in this. This is really simple. Just a nice, simple. I promise you, you make a stuffing like this, you never go back to that one in a box, whatever it's called, a stove top topping. Anybody know what it's called? Stuff, top, topping, tongue? No, they don't know what it's called. Friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next couple of days with another fantastic video. Thanks for watching.